cyclists see considerably more of this beautiful world than any other class of citizens. And a good bicycle, well applied, cures most of the illness our flesh is heir to, says Dr. K.K. Doty. Also, John F. Kennedy said, nothing compares to the simple pleasure of riding a bike. So welcome to our informative video series. It is going to be a short ride, but a healthy one. Today's topic will be, biking your way to better health. Riding a bicycle can be an excellent fitness activity. Cycling is also a good way to cross-train, because it puts much less stress on your joints, knees and hips, more than running or walking. Hey fellows, we're all aware that getting a good workout on a bike isn't always easy, though, because you have more time to recover, or to just coast. With this in mind, here is how to get the most out of your ride. Whether you're cycling on vacation, around your neighborhood, or to and from work, this will improve your biking experience in a manner that will tremendously catapult you to better health. Here's the deal. Number 1. Size up your bike. According to the International Bicycle Fund, in bracket IBF, your bike should be sized according to your body proportions. Before buying a bike for exercise, have it in mind that you can't change or adjust a bike frame size after purchase. Therefore, we advise you go to a bike dealer who really know about biking as a fitness activity, so he or she can make a recommendation to fit you correctly. But here are the simple tricks you need to learn. To choose a bike with the correct frame size, you would put a leg on either side of the top tube, stand with both feet flat on the ground, and check the room between the top tube and your crotch. The recommended amount of room depends on the type of riding you will be doing. 1 inch to 2 inches for road riding, and double that for off-road riding. Sizing may vary by brand, and may as well be different from bicycle to bicycle. Seat height also is important. To make sure your seat is at the right level, sit comfortably on the saddle, and fully extend your right leg with your right heel resting on the pedal, in the 6 o'clock position. Sit squarely on the seat with your hands on the handlebars. If your seat is at the correct height, you'll have a slight bend at the knee, so the knee should be bent at an angle of 25 degrees to 30 degrees, and for the most comfort, the seat should be level or tilted slightly downward. Once you have these figured out, you will be buying the right bike to your body proportions. Number 2, will be using your gears. Most all-terrain bikes have 15 to 21 gears, and the International Bicycle Fund says to get a good workout, learn to use all of them. In general, gear down, when you are riding into the wind, or uphill. Gear up, when riding with the wind or downhill. The gears should be used to keep a steady pace whether going uphill, or down, into the wind, or with the wind at your back. Ideally, you should always ride in a gear that allows you to maintain your target heart rate, 50% to 70% of your maximum heart rate is recommended. Your target heart rate is the range at which prolonged physical activities like running, cycling, swimming laps or any other aerobic exercise, is still considered safe and effective. This is an advice from experts at the United States Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Most people may not know how to calculate their heart rate, it's simple, and same time complicated. Here is the deal, you can figure out your maximum heart rate by subtracting your age from 220. Multiply this figure by 0.50 and 0.70 to get your target heart rate range. But, the more fit you are, the higher the percentage can go. So, our best recommendation will be using a heart rate monitor to get an exact measurement as you exercise. Number 3, is getting in bike shape. Every time you ride, practice these principles to make sure you have a safe workout. Do not start off intensely. Instead, gradually raise your heart rate by warming up for the first 5 to 10 minutes of your ride, by pedaling slowly and riding on flat ground. Otherwise, you will probably feel sore, and may increase your risk of a chronic injury like, tendonitis. At the end of your ride, cool down for 5 minutes by gearing down and pedaling more slowly before completely stopping. Finally, number 4, is cycle sensibly. This is an advice and at the same time, a warning. The International Bicycle Fund says, always wear a bicycle helmet, and if you cycle often, consider wearing padded cycling shorts to increase your comfort. Padded gloves can reduce the pressure on your hands. It's also wise to keep a water bottle handy, and take a sip every 15 minutes. Please do avoid riding on streets with heavy traffic. When you are on the road, signal to drivers when you are going to make a turn. Ride on the right side of the road, in the same direction as traffic. Wear clothing that reflects so that drivers can see you. Overall, use common sense safety rules, and ride only in areas where you feel comfortable and safe. Please do not overstress yourself, remember good things can as well be harmful.
Please, consult with your health provider if you are a beginner and have any chronic or serious health conditions before engaging in this kind of exercise. As we always say, we love you, so love yourself by staying healthy and active. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for more amazing and informative videos. Peace and love.